Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this setup that I'm trying out. Um, I actually, if you'll notice, I have my phone. Did somebody get a camera? A friend, a very lovely friend, heart, sent it to me and all she did was, all she went was shipping, so... I feel very lucky to have that friend in my life and for her to have a camera that she didn't want. So, today's video, bringing you some new brushes that I ordered from Shop Miss A. It was, yes, 10 brushes for $10. And as you can see, I haven't opened them and they kind of smell weird, which does not surprise me from Shop Miss A in the slightest. We'll go through what we have real quick. And then I'm going to put on some makeup with them and see how they perform. So this, and a lovely thing, I can now look it up on my phone. <gasps> Amazing! So this is the F21 Plus Face Brush. So this you used for powders and stuff. And next up is the F23. Focus. Focus on me. F -f Focus on me. The F23, which is a flat top foundation brush. This is the F24, a blush brush. I mean, they feel nice and soft so far. So that's a plus. And then we have F22 plush angled brush. So this is more for like your, um, your contour. And then F25 plush highlighting brush. I don't usually do this one. Uh, I feel self-conscious about the sides of my nose already. Anyway, uh, and I think we're getting to the eye brush. Eye brushes. The eye brushes. The eye brushes. This is E135. The eye blending brush easily blends out eyeshadows and concealers. And next is the E136, the tapered blending brush. So I'll go ahead and use that on my crease. And then we have E137, shader brush. It's a little different from a shader brush that I would think of. I would think of something a little bit flatter than this. See, it's got a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of volume to it. I usually think something flatter that you can really like pack on when I think shader brush. But we'll see how that does. For firm yet soft blended application of shadows or concealers. Then we have E138 Detail Shader. This is angled, if you like that sort of thing. And it says accurate blending of any small or detailed shadow placement. So this would probably be good for like the inner corner. So I'll try it for that today. And then finally, brush number 10. Yay! Is E139. And that is the smudge brush. Ideal for smoking out your water or lash. Why would you do you, what, water line? Why I sorry, I that just sounds really uncomfortable to me to use a brush on your water line. But hey, if you've done it and you like it, let me know. Uh, ideal for smoking out your water or lash line. Or for a pop color in your inner corner. I'll probably just use this just the lower lash. All right, so pop these off and my new mirror came in. Let's pop on some foundation. We'll start with this. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers for it though. Just cause that's what I usually do and it would dirty up a brush. Um, and I need to use it for the foundation. So now that we've got that, I am going to Get a couple of pumps of this on my hand. Probably need a little extra because the brush will probably soak up some of that. So we'll tap it around. And flat foundation brush. Yes, I don't know. I'm brushing it off my fingers because I feel like I'm going to use a little less product. Or I'm going to yeah, lose a little less product that way. So I'm assuming one is supposed to stipple with this. Admittedly, I do not normally put on foundation with a brush. So right now this finish is looking rather pointillistic. 
but we shall see what happens. Yeah, you know, I feel like just overall, I like using a beauty blender over my fingers better. Though this is shedding. It shed. Oh, there's another one. So it's shedding a little bit. Okay, so, I mean, this isn't bad. I don't think I'm gonna use it like stippling. Again, it's okay like swiping though. It just feels prickly stippling to me, but I think that is me. I think that's my skin. I turn red when I use brushes. I'll go ahead and come in with some concealer and we'll use that first, this one, that first blending brush to blend it out. Okay, so take three. A few growing pains for a new camera. <laughs> Ends up I didn't have enough room on my computer, so I had to clear up some room and I'm, this should now be going to Google Drive because I just downloaded a file stream, yay. Anyway, I already did my concealer. Unfortunately, because I didn't want it to dry out while I was trying to figure this out. Uh, so unfortunately, you didn't get to see me doing that. But it worked just fine. I think my concealer's nice and blended. Hopefully you can see. Let's go ahead and do some powder. So we're going to use this nice big brush. And I'm going to go into my e.l.f. My usual thing. Oh my gosh, why is this auto-exposing like that? It's annoying. I don't know how to do an exposure lock on this. If anybody has a Logitech C920 and a Mac and wanted to tell me, I would really appreciate it. So we'll get a little powder in the mirror. Let's start under eyes. I'm not terribly precise for the under eyes, but I'd say it's doing the job. So I am tapping rather than swiping just because um, I don't want to disturb the makeup underneath. You know, I will say this. With the name of the line saying Faux Mink, I expected, uh, I expected them to be a lot softer. I mean, they're not like crazy. Um, it's not like an FXX powder now. They're not like crazy harsh, but I expected them to be a lot softer with the name like the plush faux mink line, but they were a dollar piece. So, you take the good, you take the bad, you take it all, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. Bronzer. I'm going to use that angled brush. Do a little bronzer action here. Picks up powder well. There's my bronzer. Yeah, especially for this part, like, I don't think you'd actually want to use a brush as precise every day, because you're, you're not trying to get, you're trying to get a wash here, you know? Not so much something sharp or anything. Go ahead and do a little contoury kind of thing. I kind of like this one for that. So yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. A little bit of dimension. <laughs> I, I can't figure out this monitor. Uh, uh, silly me, silly me. It takes a lot to get on right when you're learning the facts of learning the facts of life. Let's get the jawline. All right, uh, I don't think I like this as well for the jawline, but I did really like it for the, like, carving out the cheekbones a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the highlight portion of the evening. I usually use this ColourPop, and I am nice glare there. And now for take four, and as I was saying, I usually use this ColourPop highlighter, but this generally works better with fingers than with a brush, so I did bring a backup highlighter if this one doesn't want to work for me. See, because the brushes don't tend to want to pick it up very well, see? So, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna scrap that idea. And, no, don't judge me, I bought these before, the whole foundation thing, and it's what I have. So I have a Tarte blush and highlight here. So what is this? This is called Glimmer. And I will get some on the brush here. This one didn't want to pick up that well either. 
Don't know what that's about. I'm just going to put some on the cheekbone here. Full disclosure, I usually don't use brushes with my highlight. Even if I'm using something like that, um, I just like the way it applies with the finger better. Um, it, maybe I just like a more intense highlight, what can I say? Um, but this seems to be doing fine. I mean, I don't think there's anything terrible about these brushes. I feel like they compare pretty well to not the um, bottom of the barrel elf brushes, but the next level up. They're black brushes. That's what I'm feeling on these. Anyway, let's move on to blush. Blush, 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 blush. So this is another tart one, a little sample thing or mini or whatever exposed. And this is the blush brush. F something. I haven't been saying that, so I don't know why I'm bothering now. F24. Uh, and I'm going to do this like I normally do. I kind of go apples and take it back and make sure I blend it into the bronzer and highlight a little bit. Uh, I like to do my blush kind of high. It, li you know, lifts the cheeks, cheekbones. Uh, makes me look like my face is not quite as much of a circle or square. This one actually feels pretty good. I mean, obviously I will come back at the end of February. Keep an eye out for it. And I'll put it there, I think. I am actually gonna wear this out today. Isn't that amazing? It is not 6.30 at night. I can use some natural light. It's a miracle. Okay, um, so all I've got left are these eye brushes. So why don't we do some eyes? And we're gonna use my favorite ColourPop All I See Is Magic. Let's start with that taper blending brush, this bad boy here, into a nice crease. Big spoon. And just, oh, I should probably go this way. Hey. Hey. It probably would have been better to start with that brush I used for my concealer. This is a little more precise than I would normally do for like a transition shade. And I think we'll have to go back in with this same brush to deepen up the crease. So I'm just going to have to blend it a little wider. I feel like for a little more precise crease work, this would be probably good. And I probably could have used that shader brush to set my primer. Too late now. Yeah, I'm going to use the same brush to dip into a darker shade. I think I want to go a little purple today. I'm going to use this nice little mauve in the middle teacup. Aww. So yeah, we're just going to kind of keep that a little lower and then that transition shade. This is, you know, how it usually goes. Yeah, I'm gonna try to use this for what it says. It's a shader brush, so I'll just try to get a lid color on there. Um, I don't really want that dark one. How about this gold? This gold in the bottom here, what is that? Save it for later. Except the pigment. Well, that's for sure. And pat, 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 pat. Okay, okay. It's not, it is not precise. But, you know, I like, if you're going for a more diffuse kind of look, on that lid, you can definitely use that. If you're trying to get a real, you know, kablam kind of lid, this is not gonna do ya. All right, and then let's use this angled one to pop a little something on the inner corner. So we'll come into this white. That is now and zen. So I'm gonna try to just get the upper kind of corner into that color. Okay, I like this for the inner corner. Get that point right in there and blend it out. All right, and then we'll go ahead and smudge the lower lash line. I'm gonna pop right into that purple. What was that? Teacup. Teacup. Just get some right, right on that tip there. Tap it off and smudge away. I'm definitely happier with the 
um, eye brushes than the face brushes. Though I wish they had a more, like a flatter, more compact kind of shader. But you know what? I have those. So that's not, I mean, that's not something that's going to make me disrecommend it, I guess. It's just, you, you know, you need to be aware of what you're getting. Um, and see if the brushes in this set are ones that you want or need. So if you really want that flat shader and you don't have one, get a different brush set. But yeah, I like I like this. It's a, the smudge brush is also a little less. It's a lot less compact and flat than I would expect from a smudge brush. I you know usually feel like they've got shorter bristles too, but I thought it worked just fine. So first impression of these brushes is mostly positive. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing I would go like, except for that powder brush did shed on me, but none of the others did. All I can remember shedding on me was the powder brush. And um, we'll see how they behave after they're washed. And I will double back with you at the end of the month to give you a more complete impression. But if you're looking at them now, um, they're, they were, and that's how I use them to make this look. Um, yeah, I mean, if you are on a budget and you need brushes like these, I would definitely recommend doing it. I would still choose Wet n Wild over these. I think the Wet n Wild ones are a lot softer and they've held up really well to cleaning so far. I don't know how these are gonna hold up to cleaning. So we'll figure, but we'll figure it out before the end of the month. Come back and see me then. Or at the beginning of March, one or the other. Um, it just depends on how it fits into my schedule and when Tuesday or Friday falls. So thanks for joining me today. Let me know if you've tried these brushes and if you have any opinions on them. I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, especially if you want to see more videos like this. Subscribe whatever side it's on. I don't really know. Ring the bell to be notified of future videos and we will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.